uh, because we can sing a chorus like that. So I ask you to help us to be mindful of what our ears hear, what our eyes see, what our hands do, and where our feet go, and most importantly, what our tongues is. Father, I pray that we would always be mindful of these things and that we will try to make sure that we live our lives to be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. And Father, that not only acceptable in your sight, but that we will indeed be an influence to others who we come in contact with. That they may see something different about our lives that might draw them closer to you and give them the courage that they need to accept you as Savior and Lord of their life. Father, we pray for our young people this morning. Father, I think of Peyton, I think of Philip and Sarah. We're not feeling well today. Father, I pray that your arms of love will be around about them. Father, for the other young people that come to the youth program, Father, on Thursday nights, Father, I pray that you will just give their parents a desire to come to church through their young people. Father, the, the young people seem to be so enthused and so encouraged about the Ready to Serve program. They love coming. They find it joyful and exciting. And Father, I pray that that joyness and that excitement might indeed rub off on their parents, that they will come to this house of worship, Father, with their children, make it a priority to come and, to, and seek you and find you, Father. I pray that that would be our desire to draw young people, men and women, boys and girls, into this place of worship, to come into fellowship with you, Father. Most importantly, that they will have a relationship with you. So, Father, help our eyes and our ears, our tongue, our feet, and our hands to always be mindful that we are witnesses for you. Father, use us, I pray, in your name. Amen.